In the first round, we have Mike McGlitchy, Notre Dame. If the Raiders drafted McGlitchy, I would have no complaints. He's silky smooth for someone who's 6'8", and his technique has already developed quite well. McGlitchy is better suited at right tackle and is a more natural fit, and that fits more with the Raiders. His main problem is, he needs to add more mass and strength to his game and plays a little high. Those problems are very coachable. He loves football and will be an NFL starter for a long time. In the second round, we have Colton Miller, UCLA. Miller is 6'9", and that height might be a problem. He's just not that great of an athlete for kick slides and doesn't naturally bend to get low. However, he's very well proportioned and has a very good punch out. Miller doesn't have a very high ceiling, but he's a starting caliber tackle now. I don't know if he'll ever be a pro bowler, but he will be a starter in the NFL for a long time. In the third round, we have Garyon Christian, Louisville. Christian has experience playing both left and right tackle, and that could work out very well for him with the Raiders. He has very good athletic ability and length, allowing him to grow to a good offensive tackle. Christian's problem is, he doesn't have very much strength or technique. He has good upside to one day be an NFL left tackle, and has the skill set needed to play sooner rather than later. In the fourth round, we have Jamarco Jones, Ohio State. Jones will not wow you with anything but he gets the job done. His technique and balance are pretty good along with nice agility. However, he doesn't have ideal height and length and athleticism is just okay. The ceiling really isn't there for this guy, but he's good enough to be a tackle. Ideally, he plays backup swing tackle since he can adequately fill both roles well. In the fifth round, we have Greg Sinat, offensive tackle, Wagner. If you want a guy who looks the part, then Sinat will be that guy. He's very big at 6'8 and has insane athleticism for his size. But that's about where the benefits end. Sinat needs to put on a lot of weight and get stronger or he'll get pushed around in the NFL. On top of that, he needs a lot of work to refine his technique to be an offensive lineman. The upside is there and he needs to spend years getting stronger and refining his technique to become an NFL tackle. In the 6th round, we have Jamil Demby, Maine. Demby is a big, strong guy who might be better as a guard in the NFL. However, he played tackle in college for all four years and has plenty of experience. He has good enough athleticism in pass protection and is plenty strong enough in the run game. However, he's not a great athlete and isn't very naturally bendy. He could play a lot of offensive lineman positions, offering him a good chance to stick to a roster. In the seventh round, we have Bentley Spain, North Carolina. He's been a solid left tackle in college for the last few seasons and has the length to be an NFL tackle. Spain can handle speed pass rushers, but really needs to get a lot stronger. His strength is really bad and he needs to spend a lot of time in the weight room. He's a solid NFL prospect worth taking a shot in the seventh round. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't, and have a good day.